has to regret none whatsoever, sir, because it's a privilege and honor to serve one's nation, no matter how difficult is the situation, the challenges are. So I, I think I want to thank God and thank Mr. President for giving me that unique opportunity to serve my nation at this level for this length of time. As for the challenges, yes, sir, uh, the major challenges we've had, I think, has largely been the lack of understanding by stakeholders as to the importance of media today. The, and this is very important because if they understand the importance of media today, they will probably allocate more money, more funds, and more resources to that ministry. The major challenge the whole world is facing today is actually battling disinformation, fake news, and hate speech. And when you look at the technology today, and you look at the avalanche and the luge of information that you even receive unsolicited today, you can better be able to see the challenges this ministry faces. Like what we said, the next third world war will be caused by fake news. So we believe that the earlier the government over the board realized that as much attention and so should be paid to media as to housing, as to transportation, I think it's better for all of us. We live today in the world of perception, and perception is usually reality. And I'm sure many of us have been victims here of fake news. And I think this is my major challenge that people do. They, they still think media is what it was 20, 30 years ago. Mr. Chairman, sir, 30, 20 years ago, sir, as a media manager, I only had to take care of NTA. There was no single other private television station. There were only four newspapers, five newspapers in Nigeria that were national. Only one radio station, FRCA. Today, Mr. Chairman, sir, we have hundreds of television stations private. We have social media today, and there are no longer any gatekeepers. Anybody can stay in the corner of his room and say that the Senate Committee on Innovation, I mean, on information, this money was given 100 million naira by, by, by the Minister of Information before they could hear it. And nobody's going to challenge him. Nobody's going to say it is not true. So that is the most important challenge I think I have. Sir.